Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on percentages. Okay, solve each of the following by translating into an equation or proportion and then solving. I'm gonna do both. Moreover, I'm going to do a mass set of proportions for all four because one of the reasons students like proportion is they're kind of mindless. I don't wanna advocate mindless math. However, if you get into the pattern of the proportion, they become pretty quick. So what I'm gonna do is a proportion is a fraction equaling a fraction. And when you're talking about a proportion with a uh, percent, one of the denominators has to be 100 because percent literally means per 100. So percent means per 100. It's taking a decimal and putting it out of 100 so that you're not dealing with such small numbers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for our percents and we're going to put them over 100. So 45% is 45 per 100 and 40% is 40 per 100. This one doesn't have a percent. It says what percent, so that's going to be our unknown, our variable. And this one also says what percent, so that will also be our unknown, our variable. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the word of. What comes directly after the word of is our other denominator. So of what number means that becomes our unknown of 52 means 52 becomes our other denominator. Of 12,150 means 12,150 becomes our denominator. And of 64 means 64 becomes our denominator. Now, sometimes when people do proportions with percent, they say is over of equals percent over 100. I don't really like that because the number around is can sometimes go after the word is, and sometimes it's before the word is, and that can be kind of confusing because there's sometimes numbers on both sides of the word is. The percent number is always over 100. The of, the number for the denominator is always directly after the word of. So I like filling in those three numbers, then I have one space left, and that number gets filled in. So 27 is my only number left, I fill that number in last. There is no number left, so I put in a variable. 607.5 is my only number left, so I fill that in, and 512. So I just, I don't do is over of, I just do the of and the percent, and then that last one I leave blank, and it's just whatever is left gets filled in there. Okay, now that I have my proportions set up, I'm gonna go back and do these four problems in order. I'm going to do cross multiplication to solve and then I'm going to translate and show you that the answers come out the same. So if I solve this through cross multiplication, I get 45x, because I multiply these two, equals 27 times 100, which is 2,700. Divide both sides by 45. And I get that x is equal to 60. So that's my answer, 60. If I were to translate this, the word is, is my equal sign. So 27 is, now I'm gonna turn 45 per 100, 45% into a decimal, is 45%, point four five. of always means multiplication, what number? So 27 equals 0.45 times x. I divide by 0.45, and 27 divided by 0.45 is 60. A lot of times people like translating. You actually have to read and kind of translate it, but it's a lot faster. Okay, cross multiplication. 100x equals 52 times 40. 100x equals 2080, divide by 100, and x equals 20.8. If I translate this, what, that's my unknown, x, here's my equal sign again, what is 
40%, so 0.4 of is multiplication, 52. Well, 0.4 times 52 is 20.8. Again, regardless of how I solve this equation or proportion, I got the same answer, which is important. Math, it shouldn't matter the path you take, your solution should always be the same. Okay, here cross multiplication, 12,150x equals, when I multiply by 100, I move my decimal point, point over twice, I get 60750, divide by 12,150, and I get that x is equal to 5%. Okay. 607.5 is, this is my equal sign, what percent multiplication of 12,105 or 150? If I divide both sides by 12,150, I get that x is equal to 0 0.05. One thing you have to remember is you always have to then turn your decimal into your percent. So turn this, multiply by that 100 to get 5%. The equation is a little bit faster, is a little bit easier, but the proportion gives you the 100. So you don't need to divide to get the decimal or multiply to get the percent. It's automatically given to you because it's part of the proportion. All right, cross multiply, 64x equals 51,200, divide by 64, and we get 800%. Here is a problem where if you do the equation, you have to be really, really, really careful. What percent of 64, so that's multiplication, of is multiplication, is 512. We divide by 64, and we get that x is equal to 8. And you get the answer 8, which seems like such a solid number, there's no decimal, and you immediately go 8%. But no, in the equation, you're always getting the decimal form. You need to multiply by 100 to get 800%. And when you have a percent that is so big, it's really easy to forget that you need to multiply by 100. So you have to be wary and remember that 8 is not your final answer. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks!